you can make homemade. This is KitchenAid and it's a three and a half cup one touch two speed chopper that comes with an extra bowl. This is easy food prep. If you're just chopping up a few things for, uh, you know, you want to do some cheese, you want to grate some cheese, you want to chop up, um, you know, some chicken for chicken salad. You, you know, you want to chop up onions. We put onions in everything. Right. Um, this is so easy and you might not always need to get out the large food processor. So that's why KitchenAid is offering this one today and it's on easy pay only today, you guys of two payments of $19.99. That easy pay goes away at the end of the day. Here's my friend Tina Varelli. She's the winner of the Pillsbury Bake Off a little while back, and she's also got a super popular food blog, and she is a recipe creator, and she brings us lots of great ideas. So in here, Carolyn, I have one and a half cups of just old-fashioned oatmeal. Okay. And what I'm doing is I'm using those thumb controls, and you can hear the two different speeds. We have the chop speed and okay. the puree speed. And I'm making oat flour. Excellent. Which is highly popular right now. And you can watch inside. You have that nice plastic lid to see how the progress. And I'm just going to take that right down to the flour stage. So you just put rolled oats in there. Rolled and oats. And that's it? And oat flour. So um, And look at the oat flour she made. That's great. So if you're gluten free uh -huh. or if your pet's gluten free. Yeah, and well dogs shouldn't eat a lot of wheat or corn. That's so that's right. a really good choice. So look how it comes right out. And notice the blade, the sharp blade does not come tumbling wow, out. Wow, nice. It holds into place. And okay. if you do want to get it out, I just push on the bottom okay. to release it. So it won't accidentally come out. That's, that's right. That's great. So, and you get the two bowls okay. that are BPA free and dishwasher safe, okay. which I love. Excellent. So you just want to click it on uh -huh. and then click in the blade. Okay. And then we're going to mix together an egg and a half a banana. Are you, you're making the doggy treats we're right now. The doggy These treats. are all good things for your dogs. Right. Okay, great. Yes, and it's so simple because it's only four ingredients and nothing unusual. Oh, These here comes the things. peanut butter. Oh. Now, when you use peanut butter, and my, my um, vet has a peanut butter list out, uh, on the wall in her office, make sure it does not have artificial sweetener in it. Mm -hmm. Some of the off brands of peanut butter do. You don't want to ever give your dog something like xylitol, like what's in sugar-free gum. Uh, right. But like brands like Jif and um, Peter Pan and all the main brands of peanut butter are okay. That's right. Excellent. Okay, so, and I have to tell you, these taste really good. I eat some. <laughs> oh no, my husband is listening. He's going to be like, what dogs? <laughs> Dog treats? <laughs> it tastes um, like a peanut butter cookie that's just not quite as sweet. Well, of course we want to give our dogs something that's just as yummy as what we would want. <laughs> okay, so you've got four ingredients. Oats, which you made into oat flour. Right. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. An egg. An egg. And half egg. a banana. That's right. Okay. And all you do is just stir it together and bake it, and then you um, mark them like you would a peanut butter cookie. Okay. And it's just such a simple, Can you simple guys, treat. Look, here's, sorry. Look at that. Those are peanut butter cookies for your dogs, and you call them bark? Barkies. Barkies. I love it. <laughs> and I will post that. That recipe is so easy, but if you need to see it again, I'll post it on my Facebook page from Tina later today. Okay, so as far as people, what are we going to make? So we talked about onions. You know, we do put onions in everything. So this is what I use my chopper for at home an awful lot. I put whatever vegetables are in my recipe. So for meatballs, meatloaf, I like to process my onions and herbs until they're very fine. Okay. And I like to even use use this little drizzle basin up top to drizzle some oil in. It helps to keep your meatloaf and meatballs moist. Okay. You could use a nice like olive oil for that. And it's also great, this drizzle hole, when you want a slow stream, when you're making a vinaigrette okay. or a mayonnaise and you want it to emulsify. Uh, this is very popular, you guys. We're busy. Can I show everybody the colors real quick, Tina, while you're yes. finishing that up? Um, if you want one of these, uh, get in line. These are popular. So we have red, always is popular with our KitchenAid customers. We also have it for you in tangerine. This is that wonderful vintage yellow. We call majestic yellow. Oh, pretty. There is your um, uh, green apple. Then we have crystal blue, which is like a robin's egg. The purpley pinky one down there is uh, cranberry. And then the really purpley one on the end is called boysenberry, okay? Uh, then we also have black on the next table, Whoop. white, and that gorgeous uh, contour silver. So all of the uh, popular KitchenAid mixer colors uh, we now have in our two-speed chopper. So here's some real tough Parmesan cheese that I just cut into about one-inch chunks. And then I'm going to use that two-speed 
some control. Um, hold on, let me just yep. point out, you guys, this if sold separately, because you get the extra uh, bowl, right. would be fifty-six seventy-one. Our price is less than forty dollars. So always a good deal on KitchenAid at QVC. And I just love that extra bowl. It just gives you so many opportunities. So with the first bowl, what I did was my onions and my herbs and my spices. Okay. And then with the second bowl, I am chopping fresh parmesan. Wow. So go ahead and buy a big chunk of parmesan at like your club store. Okay. Break it up into about one inch chunks, and then you could use the lower speed to break it up, higher speed to just take it to whatever consistency you like. And then you have that fresh, delicious grated Parmesan cheese for in your meatballs or on your meatballs or any sorts of items. And just look at look that cheese. At that beautiful, even consistent. And you, you ground it up yourself instead of buying it in a can. I just think that's fantastic. Much fresher. Uh, by the way, if you want Majestic Yellow, it's last call. Um, and this is very, very popular. We're, we're busy. So now we're going to work on the uh, crystal blue. Right. So here's another real simple task. Bread crumbs, you know, if you have leftover sandwich bread, if you have hot dog and hamburger buns, throw them in the freezer. And then when you have a recipe that calls for bread crumbs, mm -hmm. just pop them in your chopper and they're fresh and delicious. Oh boy, and that was and so fast. So fast, quicker than almost going to your pantry and grabbing a I can like the of fact that that crumbs. blade doesn't fall out by accident when you're t spilling things onto a plate. It stays on there until you push a button. It does. Cuz that does. blade is sharp. Let me show you again. So yeah. the blade is locked in. You press when you place it in to lock it and when you want to release it, I just put my finger up here where mm -hmm. there's nothing sharp and then it and comes then out. And then it releases it. Isn't that great? Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, 600 people on the phones right now to place an order for these. Uh, Contour Silver, uh, there's only 300 left. Majestic Yellow, last call, once again a reminder there. White is also limited, everybody. And Boysenberry is limited, that's the purple one. Okay. All right, so here's some heavy cream. Um, when you were showing your Facebook recipes with the desserts, yes. someone, I think it was the first one, Deanna maybe, mm -hmm. mentioned um, whipped cream with a chocolate tort. Oh, yeah. So you can whip cream in the chopper, and I find it's just the perfect amount for my family of four. And if I just want to whip some up right before dessert time so it's nice and fresh, so I just pour in the whipped cream. I put in some raspberry puree, and we're just gonna run that. And I watch down in through the clear top until it just starts to get thick. Okay. So you could make chocolate whipped cream, raspberry whipped cream, oh boy. a little vanilla flavoring. And it's really, just any flavor you want. So simple and fresh, and you made it yourself. Uh-huh, that's great. So you can already see that it's starting to get thick. And let's take a peek here. Oh, look at that. That was pretty fast. That was pretty fast. Oh boy, so look. So whether you want mm. it kind of a uh, looser texture, look at that. Another few seconds, it would be more stiff. A little, it, right. But obviously it doesn't take very long. And again, I like this. I love my KitchenAid food processor and it does so many things, but sometimes I just have a simple task. Right. And I don't need to get all of that out. Yes. Um, this is so nice and it's small. It can stay out on your countertop. You'll use it all the time. It's not manual, so all you're doing is pressing a button if you don't want to have to, you know, pull things or, or spin things with a crank. Right. You know, there's other choppers that are manual, but that's not always easier for a lot of the customers to use. So this is something where you're just pressing a button and the machine does all the work very safely. And you know, it's that KitchenAid quality. It is. So in here I have some walnuts. How many times do we chop walnuts for our baking? Mm -hmm. And you can use that two speed thumb control to really take it to any texture that you like. My mother-in-law makes a cookie called a butterball and it has the teeny tiniest little mm -hmm. ground nuts mm -hmm. in it that I love. I don't love giant nuts in my baked goods. Uh -huh. I like mine to be ground. Me too. That's, I like that too. Just about like that. Mm -hmm. And with this, you get that control to take it to whatever speed you want. And if I kept going, added a little oil and some salt. This will even make peanut butter Fantastic. or almond butter or any kind of nut butter that you wanted. Wow, that's great. And again, you guys, today is the only day for easy pay. It goes away at the end of the day. So if you want two payments of less than $20, be sure and order yours before the end of the day. Right. Are you going to make some guacamole? We're going to make what are you some making? salad dressing. Ooh. And the avocado adds this yummy body and creaminess to the dressing. Oh, I can imagine. Without a lot of, you know, extra. Yeah. 
So um, avocado, some cumin and spices, okay. some garlic. Avocado is a, a good fat. It is. If you don't eat it in mass quantities, uh, it's a good fat for you to include in your diet. So that was some lime juice and honey. And we're gonna chop that up a little bit. Okay. I'm using that lower chop speed. And then I'm gonna run it. And as I'm running it, I'm gonna drizzle some water in through that drizzle hole. So I'm not using all oil. I can use a little bit of water to kind of loosen up the mixture. Uh -huh. And then I can drizzle in my olive oil so it's not heavy, heavy, you know, oily dressing. And this is going to help to make that really creamy emulsify. Uh -huh. <laughs> and hopefully you'll pour a little more neatly at home. Well, I love making homemade salad dressing because salad dressings at the grocery store are one of the most sodium-filled things you can buy. That's and so if you're trying right. to watch your salt intake, it's better to make your own. Okay, let me show you. Uh, again, you're getting the extra bowl, yeah. which is a nice bonus. Um, and then uh, the colors that we have for you include contour silver, very limited now if you want that one. White is also limited. We have black. And then jumping over to the other table, the purple one is boysenberry, also limited. We have it in the pink, which is cranberry. Then there's crystal blue. We have the uh, Granny Smith apple, uh, green. green apple. Yellow is sold out. Sorry about that, everybody. Oh. We also have tangerine orange. And then that wonderful, always popular KitchenAid red. So thank you. And, and again, look for the Barkies cookie recipes <laughs> on my Facebook page a little bit later after the show. Thank you, Tina. Thank you. You see it coming back tonight with David? Yes, I'll be back. Okay, we'll see you then. Right, Thanks so bye. much. All right, everybody.